Hey, welcome back everybody. My name is Chris and this is my channel on uh, just, you know, random hobbies and games that I usually play or things that I'm into. Today, I'm going to be discussing one of the games uh, on the iOS platform that um, <clears throat> definitely I enjoy very much. I put a lot of time and actually <laughs> a lot of money, regrettably, into it. Um, for those of you who know me, you will know that I'm a big gamer. Um, I'm a nerd. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, my own cards and I would have loved to play in tournaments, but eh, people get a little bit too competitive at those things. <laughs> so, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over what uh, the iOS version of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is called Duel Links. So let's just get into it. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Let's ride. Now, they're saying let's ride because now they're at the point where they're involving synchro monsters in the game. So let's just get started. Now, of course, when you log in, of course, well, once you start, you'll start earning login bonuses and rewards. Okay, so I got another super rare ticket. And you got today's gift. Let's see. What's the uh, synchro card we got here? <clears throat> Vylon Delta. It's a fairy... Synchro monster with one tuner and one or more non-light tuner monsters. This card is in face-up defense position during your oh, oops. Ah, here we go. During your end phase, you can add one equipped card from your deck. No. Let's just go with the jewel. Keep it safe. Alright, so next is your home screen. <clears throat> Now, originally, once you start playing this game, you can either start off originally as either Kaiba or Yami Yugi. Other players like Joey, Mai, Taya, Little Yugi, all the others, uh, you get in-game or by completing events. So pretty much, uh, if you've played other games like Yu-Gi-Oh, whether it's on uh, Game Boy, I don't know if they have one for DS, uh, for the PS2, for the PS3, or for the PS Network, uh, most of them have uh, five card slot spaces on the field. Unfortunately, um, because this is like mobile, I don't know if this is the reason or not, uh, they made the field uh, three cards each. So I'm going to go with Yugi. Now what's cool is that you can pretty much just slide over, you just slide your finger, you go to different places. This is a shop where you can buy cards, you click on these, you get little rewards. Gate keys help you fight other duelists at the gate, which is all the way in the front. This is the gate, that red circle here. Top left, yeah. So you can go to different dimensions, obviously. So right now I'm in the Yu-Gi-Oh world. There's Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, and of course there's Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. And as you switch, you have also switch worlds. So say I wanted to burst someone in GX. I may have to only use someone from my GX deck. I'm not sure. Nope, I can actually. Alright, never mind. But you can also click this where it says Mission Stage 30. There's that little... Um, kind of like reverse button and this allows you to go to different worlds so right now we're in Yu-Gi-Oh let's go to Yu-Gi-Oh GX now it'll switch over I just got you Belle Jesus Is about this game is completely free to download. Um, a lot of in-game purchases, uh, unfortunately. I don't think it's play to win. I'm pretty sure it's not because they don't want it to be that way. So now this is 5Ds. The current event going on is uh, versus Trudge. 
So yeah, I see a vent, and then you see him like that. Twerk. You say food, though. Hey, you say. I knew I'd find you here. Trudge, why are you here? Work, of course, investigating the lead. Okay, so he's obviously not after you. Uh, I gotta try to explain. It's nothing, nothing for you to worry about. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so apparently dueling him is going to help with, you know, let, let's just do it. I just want to show you. All right. Let's see how it's three. Witness the bond with my car. Taking you down to the brink for questioning. Duel! It's my turn! Let's see what he does. Come on out! I summon a monster! Judgment. You can only avoid justice for so long. I end my turn. My turn! Alright. I draw! See, my deck is uh, a six samurai tuner deck. Six Samurai, I actually have a, a complete, well actually almost a complete deck uh, for my actual deck. So the fact they put Six Samurais in this game, I went very hard to get any Six Samurai card that they put in here. So, let's start off with this track. I'm going to do Secret Samurai too. So, I mean, pretty much the gameplay is uh, the same, only that you have to kind of use your fingers to do everything. I'm not scared to it. Go! My monster attacks. Uh, well done. I end my turn. It's Whereas the controller, you would press, like, circle or B or whatever you would use to switch your main phase to, like, your first... Oh, and there's also no, like, in between phases. That's another thing. So what I forgot to mention was that, um, yeah, there are a few little quirks. Um, you don't really get, like, main phase one, or, like, draw phase, main phase one, attack phase, main phase two. You don't really get to go between those phases. You pretty much, um, once you summon a monster, you can't put down, like, any other cards, as far as I know. Um... I mean, of course, magic and traps all work the same. But there's, like, slight mechanic difference. So, I don't know. No. You can only avoid justice for so long. It's my I turn. I my turn. I draw. Nice. All right. So, let's see what I can do. Let's... Some Who can I synchro something? So. Four, five, no. Alright, so. What's that one? He's learning a lot about his investigation now while he's losing. Let's see what you can do. I end my turn. A bad criminal. My turn. I draw. I'll go with this. I summon a monster. How dare you toy with the law? I will not win this. It's my 
Why not? Just gonna get this duel over with. Unfortunately, he wasn't trying to arrest you. You guys were just learning, remember? But anyway. But that's pretty much the format of what the battles look like. It's a three on three instead of five on five. Which is kind of crappy, I know. But either way, um, and aside from not having like in between phases to really be able to do extra stuff, you know, you kind of have to like really think ahead a little bit sometimes. Aside from that, you get really cool animations. Uh, certain characters, if they like summon like their star card, have like a cinematic event that happens when you summon them. Really don't care what he says. Sorry if you guys are trying to read it. Just trying to get past it because honestly, I'm not really like focusing my attention on 5Ds. I mean, I have some synchro cards even in my Yugi, my Yu-Gi-Oh decks, but. Um, I'm not really focusing on the GX dimension or the 5D dimension. <laughs> he was unable to find a single lead after all that. Alright, well, cool. Right, you guys are like, you know, really like, thank you, jeez. <sighs> Oh my lord. What is going on? Ah, level 50 has appeared. Wonderful. <clears throat> That's cool. Anyway, back to my video. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can set up an animation for you guys just to kind of show it off. Because it really is a good game, considering the minor changes in gameplay and format. So let's go with Kaiba. Uh, or should I just verse someone? I'm just going to verse someone. Why not? Yes, I know. So we're going to switch gates. What do you think? Let's see. You know what? Let's go up against. Let's go against Yugi. The one that Kaiba can never beat. Go level 20 just so I'm not wasting too many keys on this. Um, let's do it. Definitely let me know what you guys think of the videos I've been making so far. Like, subscribe, comment. I'm definitely just going back and forth between different hobbies that I do just to kind of show my variety of hobbies. <laughs> take down Yugi Moto and regain my top dueling status. Let the epic battle begin! Kaiba, I will defeat you! Duel! It's my turn! From my hand, I activate the spell! Of course. From my hand, really? Alright. So. 
gotta send one red eyes black dragon to the graveyard in order to bring one trap card that involves red eyes to my hand. I'll place one card face down. from my deck to my hand. Now I can do red eye spirit to bring one red eyes from my graveyard onto the field. Red eyes inside is a very powerful magic card if you have the proper red eyes cards. It just keeps getting better and better. Now, without even attacking, let's just get rid of some of those life points. Seahorse to summon blue eyes. Kaiba man to summon blue eyes. Hmm. You can do it, do it. And this is the cinematic I was talking about. See if I can draw another card that I can use as a cinematic event, but I'll give him one more turn. Ah, oh, come on, Yami. All right. Got no choice. Forgot to attack with my blue eyes. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention for a quick second. Not like you can do anything else. <laughs> oh, and I so can do it. Well, folks, you're in for a treat. This is gonna be the first time I do this.
Oh man. And I have Sly for the Sky Dragon already. So being able to see Obelisk finally. I just recently obtained him too because the event came back. The only Egyptian god I do not have, of course, is Ra. So let's see what I can do. Let's attack. Oh, he's even got Obelisk lines. That's cool. There's no way. Don't think I'll need this. But you never know. Time to end this. Back on top. <laughs> I may have lost, but I have no regrets. For it was a fantastic duel. It was. Now you will call me the king of games. <laughs> and there you go. You could save replays. Cards and money and gems and all kinds of rewards for winning. Also forgot to mention there's an online portion to it, so you can go to this section here. And you can duel people in the region, online, ranked duels, duel rooms with your friends, casual duels, specific duels with your friends if you have like, you know, a friend list on there. Duel replays you can check back out, you can go to your deck and edit your deck all the way over here in Card Studio. I'll just click on the Card Studio. And it'll give you access to all different things for your cards. Whether it's your deck boxes, um, <clears throat> card catalog, skill list that comes with your character, give you um, life point boosts or attack boosts or field card advantages. Uh, we got customizations like uh, play mats, uh, what are they called? <laughs> sleeves, card sleeves. And so the card catalog. I don't know if this is mine or if this is like the actual. Okay, so this is. It. So let's go to deck editor. And here you can, you know, access your deck. This is my current deck right now. I don't know if I put polymerization back in here. Nope, I didn't. Okay, so there's no reason for me to really have it in the deck. But <clears throat> this is a good setup. And of course, you can look through your cards. I have mine from highest level. Oh, nope. Go back. So you can check through. No, I don't want that. I just kind of, you know, check out your tops. See, I already have Slay for the Sky Dragon. Now, I didn't really do anything, so I don't really have to save. But anyway, if anything, this was definitely just like an introduction to the game, let alone my opinion. Um, I do think it is a great game for anyone who's a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, such as myself. Um, you can play online. Uh, there are there is in-game purchasing which you know what let me just show you that real quick you go to the shop here's your format there's must buys boxes decks items specials let's see what decks they have they have the white dragon of legend the single connection spellbound silence Dragonic Knights, Destiny, Rulers, Legendary Warriors, Hero Rising, Sorcerer Alliance, Dragonic Force. So if you click on them, um, some of them don't come with like a full deck, some of them are just like structure decks. 
So you have this one. This is one of my favorite ones because it has Neo the Magic Swordsman, and then it also has Trans the Magic Swordsman. Boxes, they have many. As you can see, they just released uh, 16 Secrets of the Ancients, which is the synchro release for uh, Fairy Dragon for 5Ds. I played this a long time ago, so this was back when like only probably boxes one through two were around. <clears throat> Over the years, they've obviously expanded. So each of them are kind of different. I mean, even if it does say like Generation Next, or Spirits of the Blades up here. Um, some of them aren't always, here, whoops, no. <laughs> so you could buy gems, uh, packs, sometimes they give you special offers like three packs and a super rare, um, no questions asked, 99 cents. It's a good deal, depending on what packs you're using or for. Uh, so you see, it's not all six Samurais. There are like some other cards in here, like, let's see. Like, we got Blindly Loyal Goblin, Cyber Hardy Lady, Memorial Brush, Bushi, Easy Flame. And we got Elemental Fusions in here. You know, so like all of them don't really have like a specific um, guideline. They just have a few of what they're showing. But yeah, they have a lot, a lot of options, a lot of things to go through. Um, I'm hoping that the next segment is um, XC Summoning, XYZ Summoning, if you want to call it that. I call it XC Summoning because I, like most nerds, watch the anime on TV. So I watched Zexel, where they call it XC's Monsters. So I'm really hoping that they implicate that. There are some decks in here, like even before the Synchros came out, uh, they had cards coming out that had to do with synchro decks so I kind of had a feeling that they were going to start doing that so hopefully they evolve on it uh, like they have the other games the uh, PlayStation 3 game that I'm playing on the PlayStation Network allows me to use all kinds of summoning um, except for Pendulum because it wasn't made at that time um, but I really can't stand Pendulum summoning I will never Pendulum or Link summoning I, I don't understand the new age Yu-Gi-Oh these days <laughs> Um, after Zexel, I pretty much stopped. Uh, I watched the anime, though. It's a good anime, but I will never, ever, ever, you will never see me or hear me talking about pendulum summoning because it, I feel like it's just a disgrace. I don't know. It's cool, like, in the show, you can summon up to multiple monsters at once, you know, and that helps you on the field to get your monsters out, you know, but yeah, it's just too much. You know, they're trying to revamp it, but... It's just not working. You gotta go back to your roots. <clears throat> so that's just my straight up uh, introduction and opinion on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So definitely like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm still brand new to the video scene, so definitely let me know how I'm doing. If there are other topics or other videos you would like me to make, please let me know. And always, may your heart be your guiding key. Thanks for watching, and tune in again next time.